fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> When thousands of square miles of range country were thrown open to settlers shortly after the Civil War, a new wave of emigration swept into the western United States. Most of the newcomers were farmers, and the cattlemen bitterly resented their intrusion. They warned and threatened an open warfare might have followed if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. It was he who made both ranchers and homesteaders realize there was room for everyone in the great new country and that every man's help was needed for the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We've got to hurry! Thomas waiting on the trail ahead! Hurry on, Silver! Away! Driving several hundred steers ahead of them, a small group of cowboys and their employer found their way blocked by the gleaming barbed wire strands of a homesteader's fence. Beyond the fence lay a field of ripening wheat. The steers milled aimlessly, and Jim Roberts, spurring his bay, shouted orders to his waiting men. All right, Buck, cut that wire. Cut it from here to that second post. Right away, boss. Rest your hold them steers' the fences down, then drive them through. All right, <laughs> We'll give Nestor's wheat to feed on. Hurry it up, boys. No, you don't, Jim. What the? Just tell that gent with them wire clippers in his hand to climb back in the saddle. Then tell the others to turn that cattle. I don't aim to see the first decent crop I've got in three years head up by no man's steer. Why, you... Don't ma- try nothing, Jim. I might pull this here tricker and you'd get peppered some with buckshot. And I got a second barrel all primed for your hands if they get rambunctious. Want me to handle this, hombre, boss? I can Better not try it, fella. And where I am, I couldn't miss. <laughs> then who'd be left to pay your wages? Look here, mister. I'll... Keep still. Lige, I'm cutting your fence and my steers are going through. <laughs> so you can do either one of two things. Put up with what you can't help or try to butt in and wish you hadn't. You cattlemen think right well of yourselves, don't you? Don't interfere. <laughs> the way you see it, I ought to just stand aside and watch while your steers ruin a year's work, huh? Or maybe you think I ought to even give you a hand. Maybe cut the wire for you myself. <laughs> well, Jim, maybe I'm just a farmer, but I fight for what's mine. Nary a steer is going through that fence. We're six to your one. Only I got the drop on you. You think if we turned back this time, there wouldn't be another? I reckon there would, but I'll keep watch. You nesters ain't wanted here. <laughs> uh-huh, so I've noticed. This is cattle country. 
What's more, it's open range. That's the way it's been, that's the way it's going to stay. Some of it. You can't... Shut up and listen for a spell. You cattlemen still got all the open range you need or can use. Graze your cattle toward the hills and we'll never have trouble. That ain't farming comfort, but this is. One day the hull of this is going to be farms, and you can't stop what's going to (laughs) be. Finished? Not yet. Here's something for you to think about. I homesteaded 160 acres here, and most of it's planted. That 160 supports me and my family and raises crops to send to town. If it was still open range, it wouldn't support a third of the steers you got here now. It's us homesteaders that are making this land valuable. You can fight it all you want to, Jim, but the day of the open range is done for. Anything more? Well, that's all. Fine. All right, boys, knock down that fence and keep on going. Right. Hey, I thought I... Right. That's right, Buck, get him. Come on, you... Get him. Keep them moving, fellas! Get going, you critters! Keep moving, you critters! Come on! Who's there? Who? Who? Who's going on? What's going on? That homestead. Right. Those fellas are trying to drive that herd into those fields. Tell them this is a game where we can play a hand. Ah. Let's go. Get them up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Come on. So busy with the cowboys and their efforts to drive the steers into large plumber's fields that the swift approach of the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion was unnoticed. Hurry, boy! Hurry! Get him up, fellow! Get him up! Charge right into them, Tano! Uh, Scatter those steers and we'll have a chance! Come on, boy! Hurry, fellow! Not until too late did Jim Roberts see the two great stallions and their recklessly riding masters. Hey! Hey, fellas! Look at that! Get them up, right! Come on, have a color! Into them, Tano! Uh, Throw them fire over their heads! Drop that gun out and take it. You're not hurt. On your way. Take your men and travel, Roberts. There go cattle. Good. Keep going, Roberts. Keep going or stop left. Hey, right, fellas. Run up them steers again. Don't let them scatter. They reach the hills and take a week to comb them out. Get going. Get out. That's right, Roberts. And don't come back. I'll be back. And when I am, you'll be sorry. Get up there. Come on. Get up there. Steady, Silver. Steady. I don't know who you and the engine are, but you sure saved me plenty. Aren't you, Lodge Plumber? That's me, mister, but then I... Then stick to your guns, Lodge, and watch out for the cattlemen. Come, Tonto. Uh, hey, wait. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Hey, wait. Hold on there. Wait a minute, mister. Back to last night's camp, Kimosabe. Uh, get him up, Scott. Get him up. We took care of Roberts. This trouble has just begun. Come on, old fellow. Hey, yo, Silver. Away. <laughs> Get out of the saddle, boys. You got work to do. Yeah? We don't get even for this. Every doggone nester in the county will get the notion he's man enough to stand up to us. What are you going to do? Round up the ranchers. It's time for a showdown. We'll clean out this county once and for all. Well, I don't... You fellas are going after every common that ain't too old to tote a gun. You're right east, west, north, and south. Time to get here prano. Now hustle. I'll look for you back before nightfall. All right. <laughs> Baking them out ready, Tonto? Uh, it not take long now. We want to eat and be ready. Roberts knows that if he waits too long to strike back, the homesteaders will be just that much harder to handle. Mm, that's right. This fight had to come, though, Kimasabi. There's no way it could have been avoided. No one can expect the cattlemen to take second place without a struggle. And on the other hand, no matter how many times they're defeated, the homesteaders will come back for more. Uh. 
They've learned not to give up easily. They fought against odds since they left their homes in the east. Drought, windstorms, floods, hail, and dust. They've suffered them all and kept on. Uh. When you fought and won against nature, Tonto, a fight with men looks easy. They finally won their fight with the land, Kimasabi. This season, for the first time in years, there are splendid crops everywhere. That's right. One more rain to see them through till harvest time, and they'll be set. Well, maybe rain soon. Yes? Uh, you look. Clouds. Uh. They're moving this way pretty fast, Hunter. Those clouds may mean a real storm. Uh, you... Wait. What matter? Those clouds, Tutter. Somehow they don't look right. Me not savvy. That doesn't look like rain. No? And it doesn't look like dust. I... Tonto, I've seen clouds like those just once before in my life. What you mean? I mean, Tonto, those clouds are what I fear they are. Roberts needn't worry. His work will be done for him. Having returned to his cabin after his encounter with Jim Roberts, Lige Plummer was suddenly called to the door by his wife. Lige, come here quick. Huh? Hurry. Oh, what's wrong? Look over there, Lige. Over? <laughs> well, doggone, it's going to rain. Kate, I reckon this is our lucky year. Isn't it wonderful, Lige? Well, I should smile it is. But didn't I tell you? Didn't I say if we just stuck it out long enough, everything would turn out dandy? I know. But it was so hard. Sure it was, honey. But things will be different now. Yes. We're going to have wheat and corn enough to pay what we owe. Buy us some decent grub and clothes for a change. And maybe even have enough left over for building a bigger place to live. <laughs> Gosh, after all we've been through, it's going to be swell. Lige. Hmm? Uh, aren't those clouds coming up awful fast? Look. Just a minute ago, you could barely see them. Now they're beginning to cover the whole sky. Yeah. Don't know as I recollect ever seeing a storm blow up this fast before. D- do you think that... that... That it'll rain enough to spoil the crops? <laughs> Shucks, not a chance of it. Let it pour. The more it rains, the better. Come on, Silver! What's that? What's what? I heard something. Hurry, old fellow! Hurry! Yes. There, Lodge. It's a masked man, and there's a redskin. They come in Honey, here. Honey, they're the gents I was telling about. They're in such a hurry. Gosh, look at them come. He said they were friendly. Would they be riding to warn you of trouble? Trouble? I mean, with the cattlemen? Well, I don't know. I hope not, but they could be. Hi, there. Hey, get back, you say. Huh? Those grasshoppers. What did he say? Sounded like he said grasshoppers. Oh, no. Oh, pull this old fellow. Pull it. Saddle, into the shed with Silver and Scout at once. Uh, let me take them. Here, Father. Say, what are you talking Lodge, about? Those are grasshoppers coming. Millions of them. They're coming on the wind. Look there. They're here already. Grasshoppers? Quick, inside. In a minute, they'll be so thick, they'll blind you. This way, Tonto. Here come. Get blankets and seal up the windows. My crops, I've you got You can't to... save them. There isn't a thing you can do. They'll cover the ground inches thick. They'll eat everything they land on. You get inside. Quick. Like hurry. But my wheat, the corn. Let me finish. You can't prevent it. Come. No. <laughs> Let me go. There must be something I can do. I'll lose everything. Inside, I can't. will you? Tonto, close the door. Oh. Oh, let me... Listen to them. Oh. Oh, Friend, too much. Too much. Easy, man. I know if I'm done for. This is just one thing too many. Kate, when this is over, we're clearing out. We're heading back east. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. There had been grasshopper plagues before, but never an equal to this one that had struck with such devastating swiftness. The grasshoppers covered the ground solidly to a depth of two and three inches. Every attempt by the frantic homesteaders to destroy them failed. For each one killed, a hundred seemed to spring up in its place. When at last they departed, as they had arrived in cloud-like forms upon the wind, they left behind them a countryside stripped bare. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, who had returned to their camp, surveyed the ruin. Look, Tonto. Farms for miles. Not a growing thing left alive on one of them. Uh, it plenty bad. Nothing could have been worse. Come at a worse time. Uh. When you expect nothing but disappointment, one more doesn't seem to matter. But when what you've worked for is almost within reach and then disaster strikes, it's a miracle. You can still hold on to your faith and courage. Not right. For instance, Lige, while he was struggling to get a foothold, privation didn't seem so bad. Uh. When his crops promised so well this season, even the threats of the ranchers couldn't frighten or discourage him. Him, good fella. One of the best. But now he's ready to give up, and so are scores more like him. A week ago, it looked as though this district was more than halfway on the road to becoming a rich, thickly settled community. Uh. Now all who can will leave. Those who remain will have nothing. Suffering is going to be terrible, Kimasabe. There's scarcely a homesteader who isn't in debt, even at the best... They hardly had enough food and clothing to do them. Now they'll be almost paupers. And them need plenty help. No doubt the government will supply a seed for those who remain to start over again. Uh. And it will do what else it can. But such things move slowly, while appetites don't wait. Not right. I'd like to do two things. Bring help to those who need it most. And somehow persuade those who plan to leave to give this country another try. And the West needs them. Uh, how do it? I... I've been thinking of a plan. Uh-huh. It sounds impossible. If I told the homesteaders what I have in mind, they'd laugh at me. Mm. But we'll try it anyhow. Time to call, Scout. Here, Scout. Here, old fella. Where we go? Jim Roberts' place is to the West, Tonto. Uh-huh. Yep. We're going there. Come on, sir. Get him up, Scout. Come on, old fella. Come on. Grasshoppers had made it unnecessary for Roberts to rally the cattlemen and drive the homesteaders from the district. He was satisfied the plague had finished them. It was just at dusk one day that he and one of his men were riding slowly homeward after a trip of inspection. Can't see where any damage was done to us, Buck. There wasn't, boss. Grasshoppers don't eat prairie grass. <laughs> we're lucky. If they did, we'd have plenty of starving steers in our hands. Uh-huh. Gosh, you ever see anything like it? Them willows down by the creek. Bark head off them as clean as if they'd been peeled with a knife. <laughs> them critters got appetites. <laughs> yeah, that's what them misters found out. Uh-huh. <laughs> Did you see over towards the trail? I counted six wagons headed east, heading back to where they belong. And there'll be more. That by the end of the week, half of the nesters will be gone. Good riddance. <laughs> sure, saves us a fight. Well, here we are, boss. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Reckon I'll drop over to the cookhouse and get me a bite to eat. See you later. Come inside first. Huh? Your horse will wait. There's some things I want to go over with you. Oh, sure. I'll be sending a trail herd out one of these days. Maybe I'll send you with it. If I do, I... What is it? Close the door, Roberts. The masked man. You. Did you hear me? Close that door. Is this a hold-up, mister? Tonto and I have been waiting for you. I don't know. This isn't a hold-up. What in thunder do you want? Roberts, the homesteaders need help. What's that? They've lost everything. They have no food, no money, no clothing. <laughs> That's just fine. I'm talking to Roberts. You can't... Quiet. They have nothing, Roberts. While well, you and the other ranchers are wealthy. What are you getting at? If you choose, you could help them. Eh? You have beef and other supplies for food. You have sturdy clothing to spare. You could even afford to loan the homesteaders money. Well, I'll Boss, be... Boss, this hombre's clean loco. Stranger, you mean to stand there and say I should help out them nesters? You and the other ranchers like you. You really mean that? This ain't your notion of a joke. I mean it. And doggone if Buck ain't right, you are loco. Why, mister, I'd as soon help a nester as I would a rattler. Whatever happened to him, it can't be too bad to suit me. Why, I Can hope you refuse. That... Ain't that what I'm saying? Very well. 
That'll keep Buck covered. Uh, me watch him. Hey, hey, what the... Let go. Take your hands off me. Why, you... Don't hey. stand still. Come along. Follow us, Tonto. Uh, hey, hold on. What do you think you're doing? I'm going to make a wager. Huh? I'm betting that a man with the courage to meet his enemies in a fair fight will be too decent to strike them when they're down. You can't... And, Buck, I'll win that bet. Hey, come back here. Stop them, fellas. Help, they got the boss. Stop him. Stop him. Lige Plummer determined to leave the district for the east and called on a number of his neighbors. Everywhere he went, he was met with the same conditions. Howdy, ma'am. Is Jake to home? Oh, it's, it's you, Lige. But no, he ain't. He ought to be soon, though. Won't you step in and wait? Thank you. He's rest in town. Uh, uh, hush, Nettie. Hush. Edlin. Starving. Oh, no, that's... Look here. Good. Look at this. Not a bite to eat in the house. Not one bite. And ain't been for the past two days. Of course the young one's crying. And, and when I hear her, I, I just feel like crying myself. It's bad with everybody, ma'am. I'd help out if I could with our grub give out today. I know. That's why Jake went into town. Yeah? He went there to, to beg food. Can you imagine that? My men having to beg. Oh, it's awful. <laughs> Begging. When we come out here figuring we'd be well off. Well, that's what I come about, ma'am. You folks figuring on going east. We would if we could. We only got one horse. No wagon so old it'll fall to pieces inside a hundred miles. Mm-hmm. Well, I've been talking to some of the others. Yes? Yeah. I thought if we all went together, we could make out somehow. Those that have got wagons can take others with them. And there won't be such a waste of grub. We'll sell the little we can, and maybe we can raise enough cash to see us through. And, and we could go with you? If you'd like to. Like to? Oh, the folks like to stay where they're starving. Do they like to see their young'uns dying for lack of grub? Lodge, if you can fix it so there'll be room for us, me and Jake will thank you to our dying day. We'll manage somehow, ma'am. You can plan on it. When will we leave? If everything goes all right, in about three days. Oh, oh thank heaven. That's just the first call we are making, Roberts. You take me back or I'll see you jail. You go back, that's better. But not until you've seen what human misery can really be. Come on, old fellow. Hurry, boy. Hurry. In spite of the rancher's protests, the masked man forced him to witness the suffering of the homesteaders. It was on the following day that Buck stepped outside the bunkhouse, stopped short, then began shouting while he ran. Hey, fellas! It's the boss! The boss is back! Hey, there's the boss! Hey, hey, boss! What happened? Where's the masked man? My gosh, how far did you have to walk? A foot? Never mind, old lady. But, uh, the rest just shut up. Uh, what's the matter? Once I started to send you to round up the rest of the ranchers, and we called it off. Uh huh. Want no need of them? Well, there is now. You mean on account of the homesteaders? Just so. And you want all the common to come here? You thief! I want a prano. Tell the boys to saddle up. By golly, boss! I don't know, but what's your right? Huh? When you get a fellow down, put the boot to him. Then you know you got him licked. You don't serve me. Sure I... I do, boss. Sure I do. All right, men. You heard what he said. Saddle up and hit the trail. <laughs> In the meantime, it did not take long for the homesteaders to complete their preparations for leaving. Two days later, they gathered with their families and their wagons at Lige's cabin. It was a pitiful sight. Their clothing was in rags. Their faces showed the unmistakable marks of hunger. And yet it could be easily seen that they were finding it difficult to leave the district. They listened while Lige addressed their men. And so, folks, we have to go whether we want to or not. So there's no use crying over it. Maybe we can get started again somewhere else. Maybe in a year or so, we'll all be jingling so much cash in our jeans, we'll have forgot about it. Right. All... Look. Oh, what is it? Cattlemen. Cattlemen? Cattlemen? Our rotten skunks. Can't even leave us be when we're licked. Well, that's all right with me. If it hadn't been for them, we wouldn't be so bad off. Here's our chance to get in one last lick before we're gone for good. Fellas, 
What do you say? Should we give it to them good for once? Sure. Sure. Good. Then get the women and young ones inside. The rest of you prime your guns. When I say the word, let the pole cats have it. All right, men. Once over their heads to give them warning. All right. Now. <laughs> that brought them up short. Now another to see if they won't turn yellow and run. Hold on, man. Hey, wait. Hold your shots. That's friends of ours. Hold up. Put down those guns. Then ten them pole cats to clear out. Oh, 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 oh. Thanks. They're not here for trouble. Roberts, ride here alone. Come here and tell them why you came. Now look here, Mr. Don't start trouble until you know they're here for trouble. What else would bring them? Roberts can speak for himself. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 boy. Curly, is there any way for folks to act when other folks are trying to do them a good turn? The bullets come so close, I could hear them buzzing. What'd you say about a good turn? Lloyd's a mask man here, so to open my eyes. Huh? He showed me how you folks were starving. He showed me just what it meant to you to have to leave your farms after you worked so hard to get them. If this is some trick... It I'm... isn't, Lodge. Listen, Lodge, I swear it ain't. I, uh... Well, I don't know just how to explain myself. But when you're fighting a fella, you kind of forget that maybe he's just like you. Wants and needs the same things you want. Tell him the rest, Roberts. Well, when I seen how you folks was hungry for grub and wearing what's almost rags and such... A mite more than I'd bargain for. So I called my friends together. We talked it over and decided maybe the most of the fighting we'd been doing was foolishness. And at Robert's place, they brought stores of supplies for every man, woman, and child here. What's that? Just say? help yourselves. Take what you want and pay it back when you can. You're mighty welcome. Mask man, did you do this for us? Did you? Come, Tonto. No, wait a minute. Get him up, no. Come on, so Hey, wait. Come back here. I want to talk. Come back here. Oh, no, you was yelling at him. He won't come back. You ever see his like? Nope. But he seems to know what he's about. And he told me something I'm likely to remember for a good long time. Something I reckon will turn out true. Huh? What's that? He said if once we helped you folks, we'd never be able to fight you again. Yeah? Because you can't hate a man you've done a favor. That's one of them things you can't deny. <laughs> just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.